Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Mike Styles, and I'm back with another video. Um, this time, I wanted to talk about this video that's been circulating um, from uh, Hamilton, Georgia, where a Hamilton police chief officer or Hamilton police chief and uh, officer were asked to resign after a body cam video shows them making racist comments ahead of a Black Lives Matter protest last year. Uh, the video shows two men having a conversation in front of the police department uh, where it appears they were unaware that the body cam was recording. Uh, the two men were identified as Hamilton Police Chief Gene Allman and Officer John Brooks. Both men can be heard using the N-word throughout the conversation and the police chief talked about uh, with whom he would rather have sex with Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms or voting rights activist Stacey Abrams. But I'm going to play this video for y'all and then I'll um, I'll go from there um, and let y'all, you know, kind of kind of see this, you know. Hey, and now is, well, you didn't have to shoot him. It's just a taser. Then how come when you tase a f***ing nigger, it's like you done killed him 27 times? The guy's running. He's got the taser in his hand and you see him and he turns and you see him fire the taser at the officer. Okay. Well, what would he have done if it had hit the officer? Go over there and get his gun and kill him? Yeah. Yes. Or what if, what if one of them projectiles would have struck him in the eye? Yeah. The act of him firing that taser at an officer is an aggravated assault because he has not been trained in the proper use. An officer, if I go to tase somebody, I know to shoot low. I know what to do. He doesn't know. That's right. That's exactly right. That's what I do. <coughs> That's what that is. And, and that, that mayor up there, uh, she's already fired the officer. And uh, huh. without a hearing. Mm -hmm. And she's pushing real hard. They say she's now the front runner to be Joe Biden's vice presidential candidate. You can. Uh, because if I'd rather the mayor, I'd rather the mayor than Stacey Edwards. Yes, sir. No one there, Hamilton. Hamilton. Talking on the she also has a gun. Can't get nothing that's gonna tie us up. Hell no. I don't own no slaves. My folks didn't own no slaves. Hey, I'm okay. Hey. You know, what do we talk about? 200 fucking years ago? Hey, I've been doing a. I do a lot of stuff on my family history, on ancestry. And, you know, we're all from up north, but there was a small branch of the family that lived in Virginia, which before the Civil War, what is West Virginia was Virginia. Uh -huh. And I did find evidence of some slave owning part of my family, even though we're from Ohio and didn't nobody up there. But I'm gonna tell you, looking at Chris's family, holy <laughs> Man, let me tell you what, she had, she had a one relative, I can't remember his name, <clears throat> was, was he, he fought in the Civil War. After the Civil War was over with, he became a an overseer on a plantation. So he was the, in charge of all the slaves. And there was some article or something about something he did in the paper, and the newspaper said that whatever his name was says he was known to be the meanest man alive. Really? Well, you know what, said, now, I, this, I don't know if this has any merit back in the slave times, but I'm sure there was a lot of them mistreated. I, I don't have no doubt about that. But for the most part, it seems to me like they furnished them a house to live in. They furnished them clothes to put on their back. They furnished them food to put on their table. And all they had to do was f***ing work. And now, we give them all those things and they don't have to f***ing work. That's it. That's it. So there you have it. I mean, are we really surprised at this point that this type of stuff is uh, 
still happening. I mean, this this type of shit shouldn't come as a surprise. You know, these two were uh, the only um, only ones that got caught. You know, um, don't forget about all the other ones that are out there that haven't been caught. People who think like this and who say things like this. But um, the police chief was re- uh, resigned, and the officer was terminated after failing to turn in his gear. And this video, it was discovered after a body cam that was used by the city uh, was being inspected because um, I guess they received reports that the body cam didn't work. And um, somebody, you know, went in to uh, use the camera or during the inspection, they found that the memory was full and they didn't want to delete any important videos. And that's when they found that particular video. So... You know these idiots they recorded themselves on the body cam and i'm and what i'm thinking is uh because i know with those body cams they have like a voice activation mode on them um but like i said we can't be surprised you know what i mean and we can't be shocked by this you know this is just another confirmation or another example of what black people have been saying for years uh in this country uh when it comes to like you know things uh, involving law enforcement you know this isn't some made up boogeyman type of shit uh, we, we know or should know by now that you know racism exists in law enforcement just like it exists everywhere else in this country um, and then for one of them to say and I believe it was the police chief he was talking about slavery and he was saying well it seems to me like they furnished them a house to live in uh, they furnished them clothes to put on their backs uh, they furnished them with food to put on their table and all they had to do was fucking work. And now we give them all those things and they don't have to fucking work. So he was referring to slavery as it was some kind of, uh, I guess, humanitarian service being provided. And then he goes on to say we he add he adds we into that um, statement that he made. Like uh, he's some kind of slave master that gets to decide what's best for black people. You see, with this, you know, a lot of people who think like that, um, they want to they want to bring back that old. I guess they talk about the old days, the old times, you know, um, I guess for them, it's some kind of nostalgia behind it. Um, You know, when black people were slaves or something like that. So, you know, for people that think like that and they say things like that, you know, behind closed doors or when they don't think that nobody else is kind of watching or listening. You know, it, it's nothing new. You know, these guys got caught and they no longer have jobs as law enforcement officers for now. But um, we can't sit here and, and, and celebrate just because they no longer have law enforcement jobs in that city. And I say that because these guys, what they'll do is just move over to the next city or town and some other agency will hire them, you know, and then they'll be hiding in plain sight again. You know, this should make you think what other things have they done to black people um, masked under the color of authority? How many people have they deprived of their rights under the color of law, which is supposed to be illegal? And I think their cases should be reopened and closely examined to find out if any wrongdoing was involved. You know, the two former officers didn't have any formal complaints filed against them, but after that video surfaced, um, I guess the department or whatever the city they've received anonymous complaints against them, and and so these these complaints you know should be taken very seriously, and and if any wrongdoing is later found, then they should be brought up on charges, and with all the situations like these, um, you know one of the officers you know used that old oh, that's not who I am line after they got caught, you know. But what he meant to say is that that's not who I am in public. (laughs) Um, But, you know, we hear it all the time. We hear all these uh, excuses and apologies. You know, everybody wants to cry and apologize um, when they're caught. But not not, you know, uh, because of what they said. You know, they want to cry because they were caught. Um, But like I said, man, think about all the countless others out there that haven't been caught, you know. Uh, and, and to think that these two were out patrolling the streets, you know, and sitting up there talking like slavery was some kind of summer camp where they had food, clothing and shelter. 
And if you know anything about slavery, you know, slaves were giving scraps to eat, uh, raggedy clothes, and, and they lived in busted shacks. You know, so I would encourage you to look at other things too outside of the realm of uh, law enforcement and uh, look at all these other professions and fields like real estate, the medical field, shit, even the job where you work at, you know, shit, you might be sitting, uh, sitting right next to a fool right now who's a low-key racist. So what I'm saying is that there, there's a lot of low-key races walking among us. But don't be, you know, surprised or naive to the fact that people like this exist, you know. And, and we need to expose them a lot more than what's been happening right now. You know, people can say and they have the freedom to, um, you know, do and say what they want. But they also have to understand and realize that there are consequences to those words, just like actions. So let me know what you think about this situation. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and uh, share this among your circles. And um, make sure that you, uh, you know, keep your head on a swivel and uh, look out for each other out here, man. Because, uh, you know, with these foods walking around. You know, there got to be there's got to be more people out there that, that think like this and talk like this. Um, so so that's been that's been it, man. Hit me up.